in this life. Your past lives can affect this lifetime because they'll affect your thoughts, your feelings and your emotions and how you deal with circumstances. And sometimes they can be positive things and sometimes we need to cut the ties to those negative thoughts so we can deal with things better in this lifetime. Andrea believes that any past life memories are held within the subconscious mind. In order for Jenny to recall them, she uses relaxation techniques and a calming voice to send Jenny into a deeply relaxed, dreamlike state. You're going to sense yourself becoming even more and more relaxed as you sink deeper and deeper into that pleasant trance-like state of complete mental and physical relaxation. Do you see, sense or feel anything now? Well, a female woman, yeah, um, poor, um, troubled. Are you aware of having a name at all? Amelia. Hatcher. Hatcher. Do you know what the year is? 1713. Are you aware of how old you might be? Probably 16, I think. And whereabouts in the world are you? I think I'm in London or Belfast. What's the address of where your family lives? Do you know what area they live in? The word Rycroft is in my head. Rycroft Street or something, but I don't, don't know why that's there. Are you aware of having any family? I don't know. You're drifting back to the significant event of what happened to your family. Chaos. Um, some kind of chaos in a city, probably London. Some kind of flood. Yeah, I think a flood. Uh, there's water and I think it was a drowning. It might have been my brother. Why was your brother drowned, do you know? Because I couldn't save him. Let go. Lost lost him. I should have been holding him. And how old was your brother? Two or three. And what was his name? Simeon. How old are you now? Twelve. Go ahead in time now to the next significant event. What do you see, sense or feel now? Charlie. Who was Charlie? I think he was my little boy. And who was Charlie's father? I don't... Uh, it takes me back to the room, the dark room. What's happening in that dark room? Um, I'm imprisoned. And I think he was something to do with the authorities there. Where was Charlie born? In the jail. Was it your choice to have a child with him? No. I think it was violent. And how have you become locked in the room? I must be being punished. Who's punishing you? Well, the, the authorities, I think. I've obviously done something wrong. I think I've probably stolen something. I think I might have stolen some food. Allow yourself to be shown how you left the jail. Someone unlocked the door and I left with my baby. Where were you going? Anywhere away from, from him and, and the jail. Um, I think across some water again. Were you aware of how long you'd been in the jail? Five years, I don't know. OK, go ahead in time now to the next significant event in that lifetime. A voyage. Where's the voyage? On a, on a ship. Where do you sense yourself to be now? Um, uh, daffodils and greenery. In a city park, but I don't know, uh, but I don't know which city. And is there anyone with you? Charlie's there. And how old's Charlie now? Seems to be about six, I should think. You're just going to feel that beautiful white light staying with you always in a place of peace and tranquility. And I'm going to bring you back to the present where every part of you is going to be back in the present. 
five, six, coming out of it, seven, eight, eyes open, nine, ten, wide awake. How do you feel? Um, tired. <laughs> yeah, tired, strange. Um, interesting experience, yeah. Mm. I feel that I am a very logical, rational, sort of strong-minded person um, who, not through any particular scepticism, um, resists this, this kind of um, hypnotherapy. But there were parts of it that were sort of out-of-body experience and quite real. I spoke apparently about stealing food, uh, which is something I'm not used to doing, don't imagine that I, that I ever did, or why I should have. Um, that, and that was another of those little instances where you suddenly find yourself saying something and then there's a little other part of your mind saying, excuse me, you did what? You know, very weird.